Hi, my name is Maysam Saleh. I'm with Dicor Technologies and I'm a technical sales and support specialist. So the data taker is a low power industrial data logger with universal inputs. It can be easily configured to connect to different kinds of sensors that we have in the industry. The data taker with Dicor Technologies is also approved for class one div two applications. So we're able to use this in hazardous locations. So uh, the data taker can be configured through a graphical interface or for more advanced applications, it's done through a proprietary text-based uh, programming language, which uh, Dicor Technologies helps our clients with. So whenever a client comes to us for a data taker, we, along with the data taker unit, we supply them with uh, the software and the configuration support that they need to get going at no additional cost. So the data taker comes with a lot of different communication ports. Uh, it has a host USB port, it has a communication USB port, uh, RS-232, Ethernet. The configuration on the logger can be changed in the field with a, a simple USB plug-in to the USB port and it'll take the new configuration and it'll configure itself to start logging based on the new update. Because the data taker has an Ethernet port, we're able to connect to a cell modem or any kind of uh, internet connection and we're able to upload data to a cloud and uh, connect to IIoT platforms. So the, the data taker can be programmed to send out alerts and emails or uh, activate discrete I.O. or discrete outputs for alarms uh, based on you know, pre-programmed conditions. So, so the data taker can send alerts and data files or data updates to an email address, an FTP server or a cloud server that data taker provides. Uh, where you can, where a user can log in remotely and view the current updated values on on the units in the field, without having to go out. The latest iteration of the data taker has added a analog output to the data taker, and so it allows us to do rudimentary control on in the field. And uh, once again, uh, the data taker configuration is a very easy to learn language. We don't expect our customers to pick up a 400 page manual right away, but uh, most of our customers are able to put together a configuration file for the logger in, in a half an hour or so. Along with the data taker solution, we provide data radios to transmit the data to a consolidating station or a master uh, or a data concentrator. And, uh, to do that, in order to do that successfully, we provide path loss studies for our customers where we get the locations and then we adjust the output power, antenna height. So in order to do a path study, we look at a few different uh, parameters, uh, including the locations, the antenna height, the antenna gain, the radio output power, and the cable loss. Once we do a path study, we're able to determine whether we can make a link, and if we cannot, if we can add a repeater to help make that link. And if that's not possible, then we suggest the customer go a different route, such as a satellite modem or a cellular modem. In order to do the path studies, we use topographical databases that are produced by Natural Resources Canada, and they're updated regularly to account for tree height adjustments and uh, land cover, etc.